This is the foodie review. Today we will be reviewing these milk chocolate seashells. It's milk and white chocolate with a hazelnut filling. It says serving size is one whole box, which contains six pieces. Calories are 350 calories from fat. It's fairly highly fatty. It's 200 out of 350, which is a lot of total saturated fat, 60% of your daily value. Okay, so what is in these? Sugar, whole milk, which is whole milk powder in this case, cocoa butter, hydrogenated palm oil, cocoa, hazelnut paste, cocoa powder, skimmed milk, whey protein, butter, which also contains cream of salt, and the emulsifier, soy lectin, artificial flavors, including vanilla. Allergens. It has an allergen warning. Contains milk, soy, and tree nuts, which is a hazelnut. It is produced in a faculty where a facility where wheat is used, and it also says cool store in a cool and dry place is to keep your chocolates nice and chocolatey to keep the sugar crystals inside the chocolate very small, because if you heat and reheat chocolate, it recrystallizes. It is actually produced in the European Union for Sherwood Brands, part of New Brunswick, New Jersey. This was bought for a whole dollar at the Dollar Tree. These look just like the more expensive Belgian chocolates. So I got these to see if they match up to those expensive seashell Belgian chocolates. Comes in a nice shrink wrap. Shrink wrap is, you know, nice thing to feel and it looks like it has an easy to open tab. Yeah, let's look at this. It opens up. Incredibly easy. Put it off to the side. So it comes in a very fancy container. How do these open? Opens up and each one of ooh, each one of these seashells comes in its own special shaped container. Looks like we have a clam here. Seahorse. This looks like some sort of small conch. The unicorn horn is what we were always called them. Starfish. Another small seashell. Let's open these up to see how they taste. So Looks like it's got a mixture of white and dark chocolate. Oh, very smooth. These are a bit cold because they like to keep them in a cool place. But smooth to cut. I'm tasting the first piece right now. I'm wondering if these are all the same as far as the interior. Right off the bat, I can tell these are not the same as the expensive seashell, or more expensive Belgian seashell chocolates, but it doesn't mean they're not bad. You can definitely tell it is European style chocolate, which means it tends to taste slightly different than the Hershey's milk chocolate that is so common in the States. It's got a very sweet flavor to it. It's not quite as sour. And the crystals inside of it are very smooth. You can't tell at all. It seems to me that each piece has a thin chocolate rind with a hazelnut filling in the middle. Hazelnut doesn't have a strong flavor to it and it's not crunchy. You can taste the hazelnut as a bit of an aftertaste, which is a bit of a disappointment. I wish there was a bit stronger hazelnut feel flavor to it, but once again, it's, these were a dollar from the Dollar Tree and they came in a very nice package. Yep, it looks like all the pieces are the same, just a chocolate, a white chocolate and a milk chocolate rind with hazelnut filling in the middle. 
And you get six pieces for a dollar. Yep, each piece is the same on the inside. I'm going to cut them all open just so you can see. Yep, those are not right. Not, not bad. Got a nice, even the container has a really nice crinkly sound to it. Again, on piece number five, thin rind hazelnut, and I'm sure the last piece is going to be the the same, the the hazelnut with the hazelnut filling in the middle, with the rind being a white and a dark chocolate. Once again, you can tell these are not the Belgian chocolates, the seashell Belgian chocolates. They are a knockoff, but at the same time, they are still quite good in their own right. Just wish the hazelnut flavoring was a little bit stronger. But for a dollar, this could make a nice, you know, small gift to someone you care about. Could supplement, you know, or be an add-on to like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. For a dollar, this actually can't be beat. Quite good. So definitely give it two thumbs up. This is a foodie review. And I'm signing off.